Okay, so the first thing we need to talk about is what a Jacksonian unity is. I've just written a couple of uh, couple of words on this piece of paper. Uh, over unity. If we're talking about over unity, we are saying that there is a coefficient of performance which is greater than one. Okay, coefficient of performance is the technical term used essentially for efficiency. Um, now, in terms of performance, what we're not ever going to say, I don't think is the amount of energy coming out is greater than that coming in. Uh, what we are saying, I think, with over unity is that sometimes the energy may come from an alternative source. So if you take something as common as, a, uh, as, a, as an air or water-based uh, heat pump, uh, we might put a kilowatt of energy in, and we might get four kilowatts of energy out uh, in terms of heat energy. Now we put in one kilowatt of, elect of electrical energy, and we take out four kilowatts of heat energy. That doesn't mean um, that the thing is 400% efficient. What it means is the other three kilowatts are coming from somewhere else. And in the case of the heat pump, the uh, the heat is coming either from the air or from the ground or for wherever we've decided to get that heat from. But as far as we're concerned, the, uh, the heat pump is an only over-unity device because it has a coefficient of performance in the order of four or possibly five. Uh, because what we're actually measuring is the energy that we're putting in, the energy we're buying, if you like, uh, in terms of electrical energy, and the heat energy which we're getting out, which is the useful heat energy. Whereas if we were just to run an electric fire or a, an element heating water, um, then of course that um, one kilowatt energy in would give us one kilowatt of heat energy out. Uh, but because we've got a heat pump and we're getting some other energy from somewhere else, we can say we've got a coefficient of performance of four or five, and therefore we have essentially an over-unity device, because it's the useful energy that we're interested in, and I think more specifically the energy that we're paying for, um, which is readily available to us. Um, so what does it mean in terms of, um, and if you can think of it in terms of what we actually buy, you know, the output energy is greater than the input energy. Uh, the other thing I'd like to point out at this point is it doesn't matter how you measure the input and output, it doesn't matter whether it's in energy or it's in power, um, providing you're consistent about the measurement and the measurement is also complete. And when I say complete I mean something, for example, if we're measuring voltage in and voltage out, it's important that we also measure current in and current out, which gives us an overall power equation. Power in and power out. Voltage in itself is not sufficient. Current in itself is not sufficient. We have to make sure that we are... We are uh, equating an energy of some sort with an energy of the other sort and it uh, doesn't matter if that energy is purely uh, energy measured in joules or whether it's power measured in watts but it's got to be something which is complete